we are standing right in front of our tent. Very, very basic. A very thin mattress, uh, one pillow, sleeping bag, and plenty of space for storage. We might actually get an extra blanket because Zara is not that um, cold resistant. So the road here was crazy, like very thin and narrow roads. Cars constantly driving over their, um, over the middle line. So an adventure, but it's 12 o'clock now. Really hungry though. And this is Bang Ong. And there's the camping. So far, a couple of motorcyclists, people that brought their own tent are behind. These are all for rental. So we paid 300 baht for two people which is, um, I think, a very good price. Six, about six or seven euros. Reasonable price indeed, because most national parks charge double. We purposely took the space next to the water so we can just wake up and instantly see the fog rising over the lake. So we'll wake up very early to witness that. So we're going to load our stuff into the tent so that the scooter is a bit lighter, grab some food and then do the crazy road back to Ban Raktai. Chinese as well. So much tea here. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to hold myself back from buying everything. Oh my, really nice atmosphere, huh? Mm -hmm. I like it. We made it to Ban Raktai, aka Mini China. It's the city next to the Burmese border and one thing that we really wanted to do here is eat Yun Yunnan? Yunnan food. So you can basically find all kinds of traditional uh, Chinese food here. There's shops with um, tea, all kinds of dried fruits and snacks. Before on the way here um, there was a couple fields full of tea because of the elevation that we have here. I think it's 1400. Uh, meters. It's the perfect climate for growing tea. So you can buy a lot of very affordable, high quality tea. Nuts, fruits, all local grown. So what do you have? Top duty, all the good stuff. If you'd buy the same teas in stores in Europe, you would be broke. Um, here you maybe pay two, three euros depending on which type you want. And here is the most famous lake. Let's go down for a second. Hopefully the wood is strong enough. This is the famous lake. It feels so surreal because it kind of... It's not like Thailand as we know. It's just something completely different. It feels like we're... At a completely different country or something. 
So what most people do here is um, they rent like there you can see two little houses probably quite expensive because there's not much accommodation here uh, but in the early morning uh, people take those little boats that you can see in the distance because the lake is covered in fog and then you can have a very mystical and magical experience we will not be able to do that but we have a perfect private lake view so now we're going to get some food because we are both starving we didn't have any proper food today so um, that's the plan for now smells are amazing here we have our private view huh? Let me show you the view I have here. It's pretty little, little lamps. Chinese people do know how to make uh, things cute and give it a lot of atmosphere really like the color here uh, amazing place to be like Zara said it's weird to be in Thailand in a region like this you would think it was some kind of attraction park themed park but no there's actually a lot of Chinese people living here and they made it their own town so what I read about the history that um, once there was a Chinese army uh, stationed here and they were stationed here for a long time and in the end they just decided to build the town here and a lot of people from the Yunnan region in China decided to move here permanently as well so that's why there is a lot of Chinese people living here and they hold on to their traditions and culture and that's why uh, you can see the city as it is today so the border is basically directly behind those mountains I think even on those mountains there's even like a temple, I think, at the top. Yeah, we can check, but that might already be Myanmar. Yeah, I think it's like we're living here, well, sitting here right next to the border. So we don't really, we, we just have to check it out. Maybe we can drive up to the border and then just turn back later. Perhaps we can take a, a little peek since we're here now. Mm -hmm. It's a couple kilometers. I'm just going to find out how we need to order things. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the have, front and I'll be right back. I think you have to talk to someone. So we're going to look for some food. Can I start up? Yeah. I'm going to take my time and look. So, tourist prices, of course, but you could expect that. Spare rib soup, shiitake, mushroom, Yunnan fried chicken. Fried mushroom, vegetables. Fried mushroom. Tofu machine tank. <laughs> Can you uh, flip the pages? Chicken soup, Chinese medicine, mushroom soup, lettuce soup. This is tom yum tea leaves, tom yum pork. Omelets are always nice. Fried tea leaves. Fried goat? Spare ribs with honey, I think I'm sold. Fried goat, also nice. Oh, mountains. You done spicy salad. Oh, spicy tea leaf salad. Oh. Those are drinks. Okay, I think. No, 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 that's the menu, so. Oh. Big set. Oh, different types of. Braised pork millennium, fried kimchi with pork human. Yannick and I were already pretty hungry, so we started up. Uh, I our, just saw the food and I directly yeah. attacked it. So we started our lunch already, but what we ordered is. Bear ribs with uh, honey and some spring onions, mm -hmm. omelette with uh, minced pork, pork, two portions of rice, mm -hmm. some water. Yeah, then we're, we ordered some fried tea leaves with fish. Uh, we're just gonna try the food first because we were really excited about this. Let me try this. Spicy. 
fresh, amazing, very flavorful. The egg's perfect as well, like typical Thai egg. My, this is quite spicy actually. <laughs> very nice. They are spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. I have become the teapot. As you've noticed, Yannick has an obsession with tea. An obsession. And it's the best drink in the entire world. Yeah. There's, let me show the types. So there's several types of tea. Top View tea, which is my favorite. Flower tea, oolong tea. Number 12, number 17, I have that one. Jasmine tea, it's not completely jasmine tea, it's mixed with green tea. Sweet Osmantus, which really adds a bit of a flower flavor. Rose, if you like that. And then rice tea as well. So a lot of choices. Oishi is a bit uh, cheaper. They don't have as much flavor as regular tea. All kinds of tea cups, which is very nice. Nicely decorated. Really like these ones. Quite traditional. And then here you can make your own tea. It's quite practical. If it wasn't from glass, I'd probably buy one, but it's not easy to bring when traveling. Is this chamomile or is it something else? Uh, that's, uh, that's chamomile tea, yeah. No, that's chamomile tea. I think this I think also, but it, it looks a bit yellow. Ones. The willow flowers. Oh, you can imagine. Oh my god. Chestnuts, honey. This one is for me. Mochi, Mochi. filled with a, a strawberry. That looks re reasonably nice, actually. Chocolate. Truffle chocolate. <laughs> oh, chocolate. Chocolate. Mm. Chilies. <laughs> Myanmar tea mix. Is that just tea or is it coffee? I think it's like instant coffee. tea powder. No, thank you. And then all kinds of dried fruits that you can buy by weight. Hmm? No, for me it's fine. For now, I don't need anything else because I just ate. But when I'm hungry, I'll probably buy this whole store. So all of the shops basically sell the same stuff. So you really don't ha uh, you really don't have to visit all of them. Um, this one gives a good general idea. So tourism is definitely picking up here for now. It's still okay, but I can imagine in a couple of years resorts probably on every hill. So in total we paid 450 baht. We ate a lot. We couldn't yeah. even finish a small yeah, portion. We left a bit of a A little bit we left, but um, 450 baht. That's 225. That's about six dollars, six euros each. So even for splurging once in a while. The mountain there, I looked it up, is the border. Most of the border with Thailand is actually a natural border, Myanmar and Thailand, especially if you go to the south. Either um, the sea or the mountains. Sea or mountains, yeah. So that's why the border is a bit strange, but the border has been like that for a long time. So next up, what we're going to do is we are discovering the small city of Ban Raktai. And then um, to finish off, we'll probably do some tea tasting. I don't want to buy tea because I still have a lot from Shui Fong, which is also a Chinese owned plantation in Chiang Rai. Very famous. And if you're ever in Chiang Rai, I would definitely recommend because the tea I tried there is in my top two list. A lot of things in Thailand, if the villages are a bit remote, uh, mostly you have to call, so look out for signs like that. Just go to Google and click on places, hopefully you'll get a picture Most and then just make a call or otherwise you can find on Facebook. Yeah, I was about to say that. Most things you can find on Facebook. Facebook is like the most used platform here in Thailand to get yeah. a good line. So those are the places that you will find most of like accommodations or exactly. food or everything. So all these bushes, that's tea. If you look up Banak Thai on the internet, the first thing you'll see is that. Yeah. So mainly even if you, those houses. Even if you type in Meong Son or something, 
that will be the promotional picture even though that is just a hotel a hotel one Karakai, resort one big big resort lee resort. wine rock will something you even though you're not staying in the hotel you can always um you can always go inside and visit it. I think you can even camp on the grounds of the you hotel. Can, I read that I somewhere. I see a lot of camping space. I mm. think honestly, if you have the time, just come here, look around. You will definitely find accommodation. Uh, and if you cannot find accommodation, just go to Pang Ung instead, like us. We are currently on our way to the <laughs> to the Burmese EMR border. It's how much was it? How much does it say? It says uh, 600, meters. 600 meters. So it's basically around this curve, and we'll be there. So yeah. I'm very curious to see Burma or Myanmar from so close. And uh, the empty hut, well, not anymore because the empty hut is no more, but it's an unknown road already. Uh, so hopefully, we won't get arrested. Let's see. Let's go. Drive too fast because I might just drive over the border. <laughs> I feel like we're doing something illegal, even though it's perfectly legal what we're doing. But it's so far, it is legal. I'm not sure how long that will remain to be so. Right here. <laughs> oh, the road is in terrible condition. I think this is where empty hut used to be. Let's uh, park here. Get off. Maybe we can still see the toilet. There's a car. So very peaceful, and uh, it's clearly used by many locals to cross the border. Can uh, people cross easily from Burma to Thailand and the other way? I, I'm not really sure. I cannot really, I don't know. Probably special permission because I assume this will be for uh, trading and supplies and, and such. So I'm not sure, but I think that gate, yeah, that gate must be the border. So this is as close that we'll get so far to the border of Myanmar. Let me check my phone actually. Fifty meters. So that is I think the border. Yes. So you can see, not sure if you can see it. We are here zooming in. It's a little bit further. I think not sure because the GPS is also not always too accurate. I'm afraid this is the empty hut. But the random toilet isn't here. Is there more there? It's probably gone This looks to be like a place where the empty hut could be. But there's also like a concrete thing normally. There should be a post here. Uh, I have no GPS signal. No. Yeah, that was the that was the empty hut though. Don't see any guards here. Normally they say there's a guard. Huh? I think where you are right now is the border almost. Is there there should be a, a house? Oh, GPS is freaking out. Because, okay, look, we're exactly at the border right now. We are in Myanmar. We are in Myanmar. So I can say that I've been here. We are doing something very nice, crossing the border. I've never crossed too many borders on foot in my life. So yeah. I'm, I'm really surprised. 
Selfie time. Okay, so this is our little adventure to Burma. Now we'll probably be going back to the town, have a nice cup of tea. And Burma, see you again one day, Myanmar. Really want to visit the country. Um, it's huge, a lot of history, lots of, loads of old cities, temples. It's like, uh, when it comes to history and archeological aspect, it is a paradise. So I'm really looking forward to visiting Myanmar one day. I just know it's not the easiest country, country to travel to. Also a bit expensive and you have to be careful as to where exactly you'll be traveling. Yeah, in memoriam, rest in peace. Empty hut, but I'm quite sure because on Google, um, on maps, I saw loads of pictures of uh, a concrete shed with a hammock and that was where the guard was and it was actually next to the empty hut and you couldn't cross because he, he told you we, you weren't allowed to. So type in empty hut, ban raktai or just go to the complete northern part and look for empty hut. We will write a review. Uh, I'm very happy to be here, but I'm very sad at the same time that this is all that remains. Even the random toilet should be around here somewhere has disappeared. The only thing, the only thing left are these two sticks. A little bit of wood on the ground, gas, milk bottles and yeah, holes where the foundation used to be. Today is a sad day, uh, but I'm happy to pay my respects. To the empty hut. We salute you. We are leaving this place. Uh, we'll be writing a review soon, so make sure to check out Google for our review. Empty hut. Empty hut. If you're ever interested in seeing Myanmar as close as you can get without actually crossing or setting a foot, uh, you can come here, but just be careful, be safe. Don't take our advice on certain things. Do your own research. We're not exactly sure if this is the safest thing, but it was a fun thing to do, so. <laughs> exactly, it's an experience and I really was fascinated by the storyline of the empty hut. So after our adventure, we are now going to have some fresh oolong tea from the region. You can see the color. Don't let it steep for too long. It's supposed to be light and fragrant. You can also steep it several times and every time the flavor will change a bit, if you like that. The longer you steep it, the more caffeine uh, will be in your tea and, more and bitter it will be exactly more bitter so if you like strong tea then you could but it's experienced best yeah. Yannick will know because he's a tea connoisseur earlier he gave like a whole explanation on tea he knows everything no I just like drinking tea that doesn't make me the master of it okay. it's a very interesting tradition and well worth uh, visiting the part of history Ooh, it's really hot. It's probably too hot. Mm. Okay. Well, I think this is the morning dew actually because it's quite mild. Uh, the flavor is quite mild. Very fruity. Mm. You can taste this is fresh. This is you cannot compare tea like this to the ones that you get in the little tea bags. Good. We're getting <laughs> great We're idea. Getting hot. It's strange here. One minute it's cold, one minute it's hot. Might have to do something with the hot tea that we're drinking now, but uh, that's just extra. So we're not 100% sure, but I think the tea. It's about 20 baht, so... Yeah, it could be more. <laughs> could be more.
could be more. We'll see. It's not I don't think it's going to be more than that, you know. There's so much tea here, like even in my lifetime, I wouldn't be able to finish all the tea they have. So we're going to finish the tea now. And then we're going to head home. Well, home. Mm, or lovely. home for the night. You don't even need sugar. It's really... You don't even need sugar or anything. Just drink it as it is. It's a little bit sweet from itself already. So we're going to finish our tea with a beautiful view this view we found like a small local spot that isn't too touristy there's all the teas that they sell that place over at the uh, other side is where we ate before and that's more of the touristic side yeah. if you want a more budget friendly place to eat then just cross the water go around and across the water you might find like smaller menus but still worthwhile eating they have a lot of chinese you can even find uh, cheeseburgers here for 80 baht, which is the cheapest hamburger I've seen in Thailand so far because usually it is insanely expensive for what you get but why would you come to Thailand to eat cheeseburgers? Exactly. Okay, so it's getting cloudy, finishing our tea and then heading back home because it's still like a hard drive coming but the tea will give us energy and concentration to finish the job. Good evening guys, Yannick and I are just unwinding right now, enjoying our last couple moments of sun, well, sun. It's already setting. It's already setting, but nevertheless, it's really beautiful. So we changed tents because the other one was really like tilted, so yeah. the mattresses were constantly slipping down, lots of roots. So now we found uh, a tent that is level and we have a complete view for us. A lot mm -hmm. more privacy. So really beautiful as well. I think this is the best location we can have on the entire camping. And it wasn't picked yet. So I was like, can I please have 6A please? Yeah, and, and they didn't make trouble. No. And for tomorrow, it's also the perfect spot to spot uh, to look at the fog. Show them uh, the water. We're having fresh ginger tea that we bought here at the camping site. It's fun here in, in Thailand because a lot of the camping sites have like food on site and everything. So good prices. Good prices. You can even eat barbecue here. So we're not doing that, but that's an option if you want to. It's really nice. And we had some, you don't really see it anymore. We had some um, matubat, <laughs> mantuban, sorry. <laughs> Raw croissants. Basically. Uncooked croissants. Rice buns, basically. So, um... Yeah, we're gonna enjoy your evening, eat some food that we bought, and... We're very com comfortable. Yeah. And very chill. And then... Sleep early. We're gonna hunger down later, so... Hunker down! <laughs> hey, Janet. Hmm? What are the people doing? They're watching us sleep. Oh my god! Are we the tourist attraction? Is it just like... Is there no mist today or...? 